Welcome to True Projects. In this video, we will be explaining about multitask discovery method based on the concept network for data mining. Introduction. The multitask discovery method based on the concept network for data mining project tackles the requirement for automatically discovering essential attributes from business information for improved planning and management. Traditionally, such data analysis and understanding were performed by human experts based on their experience, which took a great amount of time, money and expertise. To address these restrictions, the project proposes a novel approach that employs concept networks, a directed graph representation to automatically extract important attributes from data. The concept behind the network is made up of concepts and concept pairs which are also attributes. Objective The primary goal of the project is to automate the work of detecting significant features from business data in order to better planning and management. The project proposes using concept networks to express the links between different concepts and their qualities rather than relying on human expertise. The project identifies and assesses significant qualities related to business area using three algorithms which are data mining task discovery algorithm, clustering task evaluation and classification task evaluation. By automatically identifying essential features for planning, the ultimate goal is to reduce complexity of data analysis, improve decision making process and increase overall business management efficiency. These are the requirements for implementing the project. First one is hardware requirements. In this we have operating system of Windows, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 4 GB and above, hard disk of 20 GB and above are required. In software requirements, Python IDEL of 3.7 version is required. These are the design algorithms for execution of the project. First one is data mining task discovery algorithm. This algorithm is used to scan all concepts and their associated attributes in the concept network. It calculates divergent similarity and convergent similarity between the concept features based on the user defined threshold which is ALFA. Features with divergent similarity greater than ALFA are extracted as clustering candidates while features with the convergent similarity greater than ALFA are extracted as classification candidates. This algorithm helps in identifying relevant attributes that are either divergent or convergent and thus useful for task discovery. Next one is Clustering Task Evaluation which is CLTE. This algorithm is responsible for checking all concepts related to particular subject and adding them to the clustering task. It evaluates the overall relationship between concepts and identifies attributes that are relevant to form a cluster, reducing the complexity of data while ensuring meaningful data groupings. Next one is classification task evaluation. This algorithm is similar to CLTE which is clustering task evaluation. It checks all concepts related to the main subject and adds them to the classification task. It evaluates the overall relation between concepts and identifies attributes that are relevant for classification ensuring that records are closely related to a particular class label while removing irrelevant attributes. Coming to methodology, these are design modules for execution. First one is concept network construction. This module is a directed graph representation called the concept network is constructed. The graph consists of concepts as nodes and concept pairs as edges. Each concept represents a real-world object and the associated concept pair represents attribute that affect the concept. For example, in a supermarket dataset, product is a concept and product ID, product name and price are the concept pairs associated with the product concept. Second one is data pre-processing and matrix conversion. The dataset contains various attributes related to different concepts is pre-processed to prepare it for analysis. This involves handling missing values, data cleaning and ensuring data consistency. The data is then converted into matrix form where the relationships between concepts and their attributes are represented as values in the matrix. Next one is data mining task discovery algorithm which is DMTD. Here this algorithm is applied to the matrix to identify relevant attributes for clustering and classification tasks. It calculates the divergent similarity and convergent similarity between concepts, features and selects attributes with higher similarity to form clustering and classification candidates. Fourth one is clustering task evaluation which is CLTE. 
In this module, the CLTE algorithm evaluates the relationship between concepts and identifies attributes that are relevant to form a cluster. And fifth one is classification task evaluation. It is similar to CLTE. This algorithm evaluates the relationship between concepts to identify attributes relevant for classification tasks. Sixth one is automated task discovery. The outputs from DMTD, CLTE, CATE modules from the automated task discovery process. The relevant attributes identified through these algorithms are considered as automatically extracted reduced sets. These extra extracted reduced sets represent the important attributes required for business planning and management. Seventh one is result visualization. This is the final step. It involves visualizing the results obtained from the automated task discovery process. This may include generating graphs or charts to display the clustering and classification tasks providing insights into selected important attributes for business planning. For execution, first open the code folder. This is the code folder and this is the dataset file. And this is the data set. Here are branch, city, customer type, gender, product line, unit price, quantity, total payment, COGS, gross margin, percentage, gross income. And these are the parameters of the data set. And these two are the main code files. And this is the run.bat file. Instead of executing the project in command line interface, we have created Windows batch file for execution. So double click on run.bat file for execution. This is the graphical user interface of the project. With this, we can interact with the program. And this is created by using Tikinta library in the Python. Now click on the button Upload Supermarket Data Set to upload the data. Select the Retail Supermarket Data and click on Open. Here, data is uploaded. Now, click on the button Translate Concept to Matrix Form to arrange the data in Matrix Vector Form. Here, Dataset is converted to matrix form displaying few records. Now entire dataset is ready. Now click on the button run DMTD and CLTE to reduce cluster task. Initially, in the data we have 12 attributes. After applying this algorithm, three features are reduced and they have come to nine attributes. Now click on the button run DMTD and CATE to reduce classification task. So here, total number of features are 8 and from this, no features are removed and also we have here 8, uh, eight features after removing those features. Now click on the button CLTE and CATE reduce comparison graph to check the data. Here, on X axis we have the types of attributes and on the Y axis we have the count. Here are the total attributes. Here are CLTE selected reduce attributes and here are CATE selected reduce attributes. So here there are 12 attributes and here they are reduced to 8 and here they are more reduced. Now close this graph and exit the application. Conclusion The project multitask discovery method based on the concept network for data mining presents an automated method for identifying key features and tasks in corporate data. The initiative decreases reliance on human expertise and manual analysis by leveraging idea networks and specialized algorithms. It creates a concept network, transforms data into matrices and employs the data mining task discovery algorithm to find clustering and classification possibilities. The tasks are refined further by clustering task evaluation and classification task evaluation modules. As a result, task discovery is streamlined, decision making is improved, communication expenses are reduced, and overall business management will be improved. Thank you for watching video. For more projects, please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.